Now let's look at the power of a product property. Okay, what we can do with the power of the product, we have a product and we've got all that product raised to a power. Well, we can again distribute this exponent in so we can say, take 16 to the one third times 32 to the one third and we can evaluate each one of these okay now this just means the cube root of 16 so let's see if we can evaluate that well we know that 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and so that's going to give us uh, three twos with a two left over so we have two cube root of 2 and 32 is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times one more 2. So if we take the cube root of that, we'll take a 2 out. So we have times 2 to the cube root of 4. Okay? Now we have 2 times 2 on the outside, so we're going to multiply the outside together. And that's going to give us 4. And then we're going to have cube root of, we'll multiply the inside together, 2 times 4 is 8. But wait a minute, what's the cube root of 8? The cube root of 8 is 2. So let's simplify that, 2, 4 times 2, which is 8. So there's our final answer. Okay. The next one, let's try this one. We're going to distribute this in and take each one to the one half. So 8 to the one half times 4 to the one half. We can simplify. Well, 4 to the one half is easy. That's the square root of 4, which is just 2. And this just means the square root of 8. Well, by now, hopefully, you guys are comfortable with 2 times 2 times 2, which is, let's see, take a pair out, that becomes 2 square root of 2, oh wait a minute, we were doing, yeah, we were doing square roots, times 2, well we have outside and outside, so 2 times 2 is 4, so we have 4 square root 2 as our final answer. Okay, now we're going to...